Hello everyone. This is the first video on Boost library. Today we'll talk about Lexical Cast. C++ provides many different ways of converting a data from string to other types and from other types to string. And here is a list of the functions that's available. The problem with using these functions is there are too many functions. For people who has a short memory, like me, who can never remember the last one or two characters. Every time I want to use them, I have to look them up in the document. Besides, the function names are not uniformed. Some of them are A to something, and some of them are string to something. And what's even worse is, if I want to do the reverse operation, I want to convert data from other type to string, I have to use a completely different method. I need to create a string stream, and then left shift the data into the stream, and then call its member function to get the final stream. This method of using string stream is very powerful. If I want to have fine control over the formatting, then using string stream is still the way to go. However, if all I want to do is converting an integer value into a text format, then using string stream is both inconvenient and inefficient. It is like to kill a fly with a cannon. Of course, I can still use the old C function of sprintf and as scanf. But these functions are also not convenient to use and they are not safe. Another option is to use function like i2a but that is non-standard function. This is why Boost provide the lexical cast library which is a safe, convenient and efficient way of do the conversion from and to a text format. So let me give you a demo of using LexicalCast. First, you need to include the header file of LexicalCast. And then, in the main function, I can do int s equal to 23 and the string a string equal to lexical cast string s. This will convert s from an integer to a string. I can also use it to form a message. String equal to message plus lexical cast string uh, a character a plus equal plus lexical cast string 34.5 a float. So as you see I only need to use the same function name lexical cast to do the different type of conversion. So this is very convenient. And I not only can convert a data to a string, I can also convert a data to an array of character. Sixty-four, twenty-three, uh, I. So this will convert the integer 23 to an array of chars. Now I will do it the other way around. I will convert a string to an integer. s equal to... I still use the same function lexical cast. int instead of string. And I pass a string to this function. This will convert this string to the integer s. And if I do s equal to lexical cast int 56.78, dot seven eight, 
This is an invalid cast because 56.78 is not an integer. So this will throw an exception of bad lexical cast. You can catch it with a try catch block. and print the message out. And now if I run the program, it prints out exception called bad lexical cast source type value could not be interpreted as target. And if I do s equal lexical cast int yu and again this is a bad lexical cast. However, if I do the same function with an additional parameter, 4. This will tell the lexical cast function to only pass the first four characters of the string. So this is not a bad cast. So this is how to use lexical cast. It is convenient because all you need to remember is one name and it is safe, it generates exceptions and it's fast. It is generally faster than any one of the methods listed below. That's all for today. Feel free to check out the other videos I have and see you next time.